This documentary is on the biological survey of the 2019 fisheries close season in Ghana, conducted by the FSSD with support from the USAID. Our fishery resources are a wonderful and nutritious source of nourishment and a valuable channel of employment for many Ghanaians. But it's also an industry that has been under serious threat in recent years due to the systematic overfishing and depletion of fish stocks. As one of the key corrective measures of this negative trend, the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development declared a closed season for artisanal and semi-industrial marine fishing fleets for the period of May 15th to June 15th, 2019, and for industrial trawlers from August 1st to September 1st, 2019. This year, we are complying with a major policy uh, intervention, which is the closed season. Um, fortunately, the fishermen have agreed to do it, and this time it is voluntary. We wanted it to be demand driven and we, we, the fishermen have largely agreed to do it. This management measure was intended to contribute to efforts at rebuilding Ghana's fish stocks by allowing fish to reproduce during their peak spawning season and consequently reduce fish mortality and harvesting of juvenile fish species. In order to ascertain the effects of the closed season on the fisheries resources, the USAID provided support to the FSSD. FSSD, supported by SFMP, are monitoring the biological implications of the closing season. You know, the season is closed for one month, and we want to actually realize the impact, the biological impact this closed season will be having on the fisheries or the marine fishery sector. Data collection began two weeks before the closed season and resumed immediately the closed season ended. 50 samples per species per week were scheduled to be collected from eight landing sites using Kobo toolbox applications on smartphones. The selected sites were Apam, Elmina, Tema, Botiano, Sekandi, Hafasini, Ketar, and Axim. To enable the fishermen appreciate the scientific process, the monitoring involved fishermen in these biological data collections. Fishermen were trained on how to collect biological data and blend indigenous traditional knowledge with scientific knowledge. It also allowed them to witness at first hand how science informs management decisions and later appreciate the findings of the biological results. The enumerators worked with the chief fishermen and the fishermen, hand in hand in the data collection. The fishermen started the demonstration by measuring the fork length of the fish. They then measured the total length of the fish to ascertain its size and then weigh it. They then got the fish to check the sex of the fish, male or female and further weigh the gonad to check the maturity stage of the gonad. FSSD coordinators have been reviewing and validating the data before uploading them onto a master database to enable them draw effective conclusions. The biological monitoring ended in March 2020, at which time the scientific and technical working group, STWG, validated the analysis of the data collected by FSSD to provide a report to the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development and the Fisheries Commission to inform policy decisions related to the scheduling of the 2020 closed season. The FSSD demonstrated through this study that the small pelagic species of Ghana, namely Sardinella, mackerel and anchovies, migrate near shore to spawn during the second half of the month of August. This period represents the biggest peak spawning of these fishes. The FSSD concluded that for future reference, fisheries managers should consider to close the fisheries during this period in order to give a chance to big fish to spawn to contribute to the rebuilding of the fish stocks.
Now, the scientific and technical working group was set up by the Sustainable Fisheries Management uh, Projects, SFMP, in 2015. And the function of the um, scientific and technical working group, STWG, in short, is to uh, provide science-based advice to the Fisheries Commission. And this function has been uh, diligently uh, served by the STWG during the life of the uh, SFMP. Biological monitoring is a very important activity associated with uh, implementation of fisheries management interventions, such as close season. In the 2019 uh, period when the fisheries was closed, the SCWG recommended biological monitoring to take place before, during, and after the closure to give real-time scientific information as to whether the closure was being effective. And after the closure, analysis of the results showed that the timing was not appropriate because the fish showed reproductive activity in the period of July, August, and September. And so the closure should have taken place in either July, August, or September. The SFMP adopted a model whereby there was collaboration between the research agencies, namely the Fisheries Statistical Survey Department, the universities, such as University of Cape Coast and University of Ghana, the Fisheries Commission itself, and the SFMP. And this collaboration was very effective during the work of the SFMP. The objective of this collaboration was achieved. And so it is felt that such collaboration should be maintained in our efforts of sustaining our uh, fish, marine fisheries sector through the rebuilding of the stocks. Needless to say, the efforts to create a self-sustaining and consistently productive fisheries industry for national growth and prosperity have been positively affected by policy interventions such as the closed season and immensely impacted by the detailed scientific data collection and evaluation that has been driven by the FSSD for more accurate and effective decision making for our fishing industry. In the years to come, we hope to look back proudly and happily on the strides made whilst enjoying productivity and stability in our fishery sector. Move. Abedimpo. Yeah. Yeah.